Some of the world's most dangerous weapons sit beneath the Wyoming countryside. 60 Minutes correspondent Leslie Stahl got a rare up-close look at the nation's nuclear arsenal. She's with us here at the table. But first, a preview of Sunday night's report. Flying over the plains of Wyoming in an old Huey helicopter, we came upon a small fenced-in lot. It didn't look like much. All right, so that's it right there. You see. Air Force Colonel Carl Jones told us that underneath the concrete near that white pole, there's a Minuteman III missile. It's one of the deadliest and most powerful weapons on the planet. So is that particular missile armed right now with a nuclear warhead? It is. The warhead on each of these land-based missiles is 20 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima and could kill millions if dropped on a major city. The Air Force still keeps nearly all 450 of them on constant alert, ready to go. We thought the missiles would be hidden away on some vast tract of federal land. My goodness, is this a farm right here? It is. We were surprised the missiles were close to rural communities. We saw bales of hay and herds of grazing cattle. It, 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 hey, it's a safe weapon. I mean, it, it's not going to—it's not going to do anything here on the ground. If by accident or a deliberate act, one of those missiles was launched, is there a way to to de dis disarm it or bring it back? Uh, we can only launch uh, with direction from the president of the United States. Now, once that missile is gone, there's no way to recall it or disarm the warhead that's on the missile. Yeah, you know, once once they're gone, they're gone. And Leslie Stahl is here with us. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning. Very few people have had a chance to go into these underground facilities. What was it like? And from what I understand, some of the technology was surprisingly primitive. Yeah, it, it, antique. Antique. They're using computers that go back to the 60s. Wow. They're using floppy disks, and not the kind you see, but big ones that you've never seen. That's how old. Why are some they of the doing equipment. that? You would think that they could update it if they wanted to. Well, they're doing it. It's so interesting. Um, when we saw it, we thought, what? This is nuts. Yeah. But they realized that no cyber terrorist could ever <laughs> attack this base because the, what the equipment cannot, they can't get on the Internet. Uh -huh. So there's no avenue in for mm -hmm. someone outside the system. Oh, interesting. So they're going to keep it this way. Leslie, there have been some stories about those who guard these nuclear weapons, cheating scandals, exactly. et cetera. Are they safe? What is the Air Force doing to make sure that the people protecting uh, these facilities are trustworthy? They're doing a lot. They're changing systems. Um, they're trying to boost morale. They're called missileers, and they're very mm -hmm. young. They're, they're, most of them are just out of college, and they're, they're, uh, they're all officers in the Air Force, but they're... Uh, trying to make this job more appealing. It was kind of a dead-end job, and they're changing a lot. They're, mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. dealing with this problem. And the reason we discovered that there was cheating is that the, they have tests constantly, mm -hmm. and they had to get 100. They oh, had to pass. pass. What, to what did they let you in, Leslie? Did you call and say, this is Leslie Stahl from 60 Minutes? <laughs> right this way, Miss Stahl. <laughs> but why did they let you in at this time? Well, I'm speculating, but mm -hmm. I think they wanted to assure people that while there was cheating, they're dealing with it, and that basically the system is safe, mm -hmm. um, and that any time they find it isn't, they're going to pounce on it. And they have been pouncing to fix these problems, which are basically morale problems. Mm -hmm. And how many of those warheads will be reduced given the START Treaty? I, my understanding is they're not going to reduce the land base, which is our story. They're going to reduce some on the submarines. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a nuclear mm -hmm. triad. Mm -hmm. So it'll be not the land base. They'll stay at 450, um, down from 30, 000, something like 30,000. So yeah, I honestly hope we never have to use them, but I'm glad to know that they exist. Yeah. I'm glad they're there. Leslie thank you, Stahl. Leslie. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you.